Okay, I'm recording. Okay. So, hello everyone, or everyone who maybe are watching us at the YouTube channel. We start this English speaking season here at this YouTube channel called Yes You Can. And we are here with two people, one from Bangladesh, which is Charmy, and another one, which is from Poland. So, and of course, I'm myself, uh, which uh, I live in Brazil. And we're going to start our English speaking session. The main purpose or the main uh, point here is to increase your vocabulary, is to practice, is to make your brains remember the words, even if you already know. Okay, so we must get confidence. And that's the best way to, to be confident when we are practicing our speaking skill. And I would like to share my, my, share, my screen here with you. Just, just a second. And let's do it by this. I hope is everything okay. Everyone could see here. Um, so let me just. Uh, okay, so Ricardo, Ricardo, let me just see here. Ricardo, which is a new member of English speaking club, are telling something to us. Everyone, I couldn't join him. Honestly, I didn't pay attention that it was yesterday. Today. Just a second. Okay. Uh, I just invited him to join us here right now. So, guys, let's talk about some topics. And of course, it's very interesting when we have a topic to discuss. And I'd like to discuss the first talk, which would be hotels. So maybe you like, uh, I believe that everyone who is uh, the same room is with us uh, is interesting or like so much to travel, like to travel, like to know new places. Maybe uh, probably you already stay or uh, you, you already stayed at hotels uh, outside of your city. And I'd like to know some questions, like to know some answers about you. The first one is, which do you prefer to stay in when you travel? So hotels, uh, hostels, or another type of place? Uh, let's start with you, Madalena. I would like to start to answer. So when you are traveling, what type of uh, places do you like to stay? Do you like to uh, to sleep at the hotels or other, other types of uh, uh, places like this? Uh, okay, so uh, honestly, I uh, usually choose the most cheaper option for accommodation when I travel. So, um, but definitely prefer hotels. Um, I think that hotels have um, more um, necessary equipment. Mm, but uh, of course, I um, I can also um, stay for another places, hostel, and um, I have uh, a lot of situation also when I staying under the ten. <laughs> so I think that um, at, that I prefer hostel, but um, another type of, of places when I can stay, it's. Uh, also for me, and I don't have don't, don't feel uh, confused when I staying in another places. Nice, nice. Me too. Uh, usually, uh, Charmy, would you like to answer this question too? How is your? I don't know because Charmy uh, told me yesterday she was uh, a little sicky, so she joined us. But I don't know how is uh, how she is feeling right now to answer because she is not so good today. She told me that she is better than yesterday, but uh she i don't know if you should like to answer this question charmy would you like to answer which type of uh, uh hospital okay i will answer it but shortly okay uh, okay my answer is going to be that uh when i went to uh on my travel then i always prefer hotels uh, obviously but uh Another place or another thing is that uh, to um, spend uh, uh, our time in our relative house. If there, this is uh, near to our traveling spot, then our relative house is uh, more better than any hotel and hostels. 
because it's a most secure place and comfortable place also so if is it possible for us or anyone when they are traveling i i am traveling then it's a more uh, comfortable place but also the hotels are uh, very good for um, traveling because uh, in hotels there are lots of facilities for travel uh, tourism uh, tourists so hotel is a uh, best for any kind of uh, um, tourist and also hostel is also good but i always prefer hotels and another is a uh, relative house nice so nice nice me too so to be honest i have been took a lot of hotels uh, since the last months because my job uh, needs to travel sometimes at least once time a month i needed to travel for for four cities, different cities here at uh, the same state, of course, the same state of where I which I live here, it, uh, which is state of Paraná, but it's 500 kilometers away from my city and I need to travel. So I take the, the airplane, I go to the city and I stay at some hotels there. And I like to be, to be honest, I like to stay at hotels. I like to uh, take a break, which means take a break from my, my own head, my own life, my own family here, because sometimes we needed to, focus more on our our jobs our things to do so when i uh, work, uh so when i go to this place when i travel to these places to the other uh uh places for my company i usually work all day long and after that i go to the to the hotels and when i arrive at the hotels i just grab some coffee and things like that and i go to study I go to do some things i study all night long so sometimes until midnight and i just go to sleep in another day everything starts again so 7 a.m i went to the job then yes in things like that happen everything again so uh i like to be at hotels uh, i like to, to travel sometimes not so much of course we needed to stay at home we needed to spend time at home but uh travel sometimes is is good and i'm lucky because my company pay for everything so i don't need to pay anything that's the best part um that second question what are the best and worst things about staying in hotels? Madalena, it's your turn. Um, okay, so I think um, the best thing about staying in hotels that um, hotels, uh, I think it is a um, very comfortable accommodation during traveling. So it is definitely advantages of these places. The, um, the worst thing about staying in hotel, hmm. maybe it is price because a lot of hotels um, which have uh, a lot of um, exclusive packet, <laughs> uh, it is so expensive. So I think it is the worst thing about staying in hotels. <laughs> yeah, I agree. It's everything is um expensive everything expensive so sometimes i like to take uh, just a snake which it uh, has at my room and when i saw the price tag i stay oh man, never i gonna do that i just leave out the hotel i went to the supermarket and i buy it by myself and i pay uh four times less than i should have paid uh if i buy it that at the hotel and of course when I travel, uh, sometimes we must rent a car and I need to pay the, the parking car, the parking lot, the parking spots to the hotel too. And sometimes it's, it's cheap, sometimes it's not so cheap. There's no uh, there's no standard to do that. So and everything I must pay. But of course, after a while, after 30 days, my company pay me back this money because I can prove to them that I use this money to pay uh because i was traveling for them so they get back they then pay back to me my money but yeah i agree with you with this i agree with you this stop because it's quite uh, the, the things is very expensive so always i live at the hotel i never eat at the hotel when i like to eat something when i like to drink something i live out i went to some restaurants i went some uh uh bakers to, to drink a cough to grab a cough and things like that 
And you, Charm, you'd like to answer? Uh, what is the best or the worst things to do or uh, related to the hotels? Uh, actually, the best thing is uh, staying about the staying hotel is uh, best uh, comfortable uh, accommodation also, uh, and the worst thing is security problem because most of the and also um, expensive uh, is uh, the other problem but security problem is uh, main for me because there are a lot of scam uh, will uh, occurs in our um, hotel section so in uh, hotels uh, staying in hotels uh, there are lots of issues about uh, in security um, topics so security is the one of worst thing about hotel and best thing and other best thing is the scenario when a hotel is beside the river or sea then the scenery is so good and it's like a relaxation mind for mind so um, scenery and uh, also there are lots of facilities for a staying hotel. So there are lots of facilities to uh, staying hotel and it's based or another, another uh, options. And the worst thing is uh, also expensive, uh, lots of expense in hotels. So that's all about hotel staying. Nice. Nice. Uh, so, as you could see, everyone agrees with the one topic at least, which is very expensive. When we would like to eat or drink something at the hotels, it's quite not. So, uh, there's no way to save money if you started to eating and grab some things at the, your hotel room. So, it's necessary to go outside to leave it and uh, eat some things outside of the hotel. It would be uh, cheaper than. Uh, pay and buy things at the hotel uh alice hello how are you today it's nice to see you have you here with us oh hello everyone uh, i'm pretty good uh, it's a great sunday mm, very happy to pr practice with you guys nice nice alice we were practicing to, uh, today here about hotels so i already did the first and the second question but i'd like to ask you uh let me see here uh okay i'd like to ask you here the number four do you feel comfortable when you are staying at a hotel would you like to say uh about that what do you think about hotels the everything's about to travel or is about hotels here today Uh, okay, uh i i have uh stayed in uh several hotels and uh, in my uh in in the past um uh, some of the hotel are very comfortable but some of those are uncomfortable uh, maybe it depends uh it depends on the price and the um, utility utility of the hotel uh i i think a three star hotel four star hotel and the five star hotels are very comfortable uh, but um, uh, for some very cheap hotel, it is not comfortable. Maybe uh, it is a little dirty and uh, there is no TV. Uh, and maybe there is no Wi-Fi. So if I stay in this kind of hotel, it, it, it is not comfortable. But... Um, oh, uh, in 20, sorry, sorry. In, in 2023, there is a hotel which has no access at Wi-Fi. Ah, I can't believe it yet. Oh, so in, in your country, uh, all the hotels uh, do not have Wi-Fi? I believe oh, so. I think so. I'm so sorry. I'm just kidding with you, Alice. I, I think so. Uh, uh, I think every hotel at today must have Wi-Fi because if they don't... Oh, I, I got I you. Uh, I got you, but uh, uh, maybe there are some hotels uh, there are not Wi-Fi. Uh, I remember this year when I was traveling in Italy, uh, I stayed in an uh, Airbnb house and there was no Wi-Fi because uh, it was an old house and uh, this house 
uh, the owner of this house uh, was a uh, was an old couple. Uh, so there was no Wi-Fi, but uh, but that house uh, that house uh, was very comfortable. Uh, it it was big and the bed is soft, uh, was soft. Uh, I like that. And sometimes in China, uh, if I travel uh, in some village, maybe uh, the hotel room uh, do not have does not have Wi-Fi. Uh, but I think the majority of the hotel rooms uh, have have a Wi-Fi. Uh, but there are some hotel rooms that are uh, a little dirty. Uh, I don't like this kind of hotel room, but I think uh, all the Airbnb houses are very good. I like Airbnb house very much, and all the Airbnb houses are very clean, and the um, the host, uh, the majority of the hosts are very friendly. Mm, I I really like Airbnb house, and I feel comfortable living in Airbnb house. Nice. Okay. I... The last time, uh, which I I rented the Airbnb, I was sorry. The last time when I rent an Airbnb here in Brazil was December. Last December, I, I rented an Airbnb, and I went to the to the beach. Of course, with my family, we stayed there at least uh, five days, something like that. And uh, I I stayed surprised. I got so surprised when I arrived there because uh, of course we can see the 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 house you can see the place by pictures and things like that okay but i i didn't went to them just to to there just to see the house i just watched some pictures look some pictures on the on their bnb site website and i decided to rent it and everything is okay i rented i pay everything and i decided to to go to the beach so when i arrived there Guys, it was better than I thought. I thought before because it's huge. It's a, it was a huge house. It was very very clean. There's a lot of things which they didn't uh, they didn't post on the Airbnb that they provided to the customers, and it was very interesting. So uh, it uh, it was my third time when I decided to rent a a, a house or a place to buy Airbnb. Uh, and I really appreciate uh, the the service you provided to us and to me to my family. So I like Airbnb too. Airbnb is one of the best uh, the best way to to rent a house. And you can rent uh, how can I say rapidly? You can rent easily. That's very important. If you needed to travel after tomorrow, for instance, you uh, have the opportunity to just look at Airbnb and just rent it, and it will be easy. So nice, thank you for your answer. The last but not least, Madalena, it's your turn. Uh, have you ever ordered room service at the hotels? I believe so, because you just said to us that it's very expensive, you already know that. But let me let me know your experience with that. Do you ever ever ordered something about you uh, from your hotel at your room? Uh, no. <clears throat> No, I have no, I have never ordered room service. It is too expensive, mm, like I told. So I, um, I always um, have cheaper methods. Like you go to the supermarket and buy products, <laughs> at cooking uh, at hotel, <laughs> or yeah. um, or eating uh, out um, uh, in the city um, during sightseeing. I think it's the better method than order room service. Yeah, I know, I know, because uh, sometimes I pay it so I, I I spend a lot of money in the hotels for the first time because uh, how can I say it was my first time traveling by hotels and things like that. So I decided to eat some things at the home, at the room. But when I saw the ticket, when I saw uh, what, how much I need to pay about uh, one one bottle of other one bottle one bottle of water uh here in brazil usually this can cost uh, uh two or three reais two or three reais uh, or just so you get an idea but at that time i paid 10 reais one bottle i yeah and i go i took a five or six bottle at the hotel during my my stay there so it was very expensive just because water i i got so crazy and i said to, to myself never i never gonna eat anything bought uh, at the hotels 
Okay, so that's uh, a stated tip here for everyone who are traveling because hotel is very expensive uh, if you need to eat or drink something. Let me see here. So I believe that is all this topic, guys. This topic we did, we talked uh, a lot of things. So let's change a little bit. I don't know if you we can talk about this topic because in my opinion, there's it's quite difficult. There's a lot of web series, there's a lot of movies, but let's try, let's try to talk about TV and movies. Let's see what uh, you can bring to us today, what your answers will reveal about yourselves. So first question, Magdalena, it, it's to you because the last one is quite short. So I'd like to answer again. So what is your favorite move genre and or TV genre? So we'd like to say uh, about that. What is your favorite movie? What's your favorite series? Let me know about that. You cannot say, you cannot say Grey's Anatomy. So you cannot say because you are a nurse. So <laughs> I'm just kidding, okay? You can say Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> Uh, okay, so uh, I think that I don't have my favorite movie gen genre. Uh, it depends for my mood. Mm, so uh, of course, I watching a lot, uh, uh, a lot of um, different um, medical movies. Uh, for example, I watch New Amsterdam on Netflix. Uh, and um, also Good Doctor, <laughs> but I also uh, watching another type of movies, for example, comedy, sometimes horror, <laughs> and I like crime. Mm, yes, crime I very like, um, and I usually watching film on Netflix or uh, my computer laptop. Uh, TV, I honestly, I not use a lot of TV because uh, I don't have in my flat. So I only watching TV when I visited to my parents, to my family. Uh, so it is uh, don't it is not necessary for me to have TV. <laughs> yeah, I, I me, me either. Uh, how can I say me neither? Because I'd like to say today, I don't know if you, I believe that you both here have your own profile on Facebook, for instance. So <clears throat> Facebook can bring a lot of uh, uh, news news for us. So uh, sometimes I was just roll out Facebook pages, things like that. And I can see a lot of news, a lot of news about what's happened, uh, uh, not just at my city, but from all over the world. So I don't need it to watch the TVs. I don't need it to watch it. Uh, how can I say the uh, the, the television uh, uh, news things like that? So I just uh, watching and know what's happened by the internet. That's the best part of the internet. I do not waste one hour looking things like that. Uh, but before, when I was younger, when I was a, a, a teenager, at that time, I if I'd like to know what's happened, I should have watched some television, something like that. To know, but today we have the internet, so the internet is is providing a lot of information for us. We just needed to choose what we'd like to watch and look in, and that's it. So thank you. I agree with you. I like the watch a lot at Netflix and Disney Disney Channel. I some uh, recently I got a, a pack a package on the Disney Channel because I so I'm a huge fan. I don't know how about you guys. But I'm a huge fan from Avengers. Have you ever watched Avengers? And uh, I'm a huge fan by Avengers. I'm a huge fan by, let me see, uh, Disney movies, a lot of that. But uh, recently, Disney got uh, an accord with uh, Marvel, Marvel Channel. And Marvel Studios just provided to the Disney uh, channels uh, to, to to watch and to pass uh, the movies, uh, Avengers and things like that. So I'm a huge fan of Marvel, Marvel movies. And I'm so sad because uh, the creator of the Marvel, which was Stanley, I don't know, I don't remember the name, the right name of that. But unfortunately, he died some, some, I believe, one year ago. And the movie starts to decrease the quality because that guy was so incredible to imagine things, to create things. So everything, the Iron Man, for instance, I'm a huge fan from Iron Man movies. 
and uh, that Iron Man was created by him, by that. So you can compare Iron Man, the first Iron Man, with the last Avengers. So in the last Avengers, unfortunately, the the creator of the Marvel Studios, unfortunately, are, uh, had a red, had a red die at that time. So if you look at the end of the movie Avengers, Avengers Ultimate, unfortunately, was so. I don't like it. I didn't like the last movie, Avengers. I stay so sad. Yes, Iron Man. That's it, Alice. And uh, I'm a huge fan about these movies, about the Avengers, about the Iron Man, about the Hulk, Thor, and things like that. I like this movie from Marvel Pictures. And uh, let's see. Uh, Charming, what is your favorite movie genre or TV genre? Uh, tell us a little bit about it. Uh, my favorite movie genre is uh, thriller movies. Like uh, I love thriller movies. Uh, and in English, uh, it's the horror movies. I love this those movies. Yeah. And like, are you uh, crazy? Like you both are crazy. You both are crazy. Do like? Do you <laughs> like horror movies? Ah, I don't like this type. Yeah, of I. I stay so uh, afraid. Sometimes I close my eyes. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Okay, but I feel like a uh, thrilling in uh, horror movies and thriller movies, uh, and mostly thriller movies in Hindi, uh, which is a uh, Hindi dubbing on uh, Tamil movies, uh, and their um, thriller movies is so good, and uh, in English uh, horror movies is uh, so uh, horror feeling uh, with a horror feeling. Because uh, and uh, last I seen, uh, I seen the nun. Uh, you know or not? I don't know. Uh, the nun and uh, wrong turn. I have seen wrong turn one, two, and three, or uh, three and four also. Uh, because this series is uh, so um, uh, like uh, frighten me uh, for me. And uh, horror movies uh, in English is so um, thrilling and uh, excited uh, for me. So I love those uh, horror movies in English and also thriller movies uh, in Hindi. Okay, I'm so sad to hear that, but everyone watch what they like it. So I'm so sad. And also uh, one another uh, genre is that uh, fantasy movie. Uh, sometimes I saw fantasy movie in English because uh, in American movies, uh, fantasy movies are so good and it's so excited, uh, excitement for movies. And last time I saw an action movie, uh, Twilight. You see this or not, I don't know. But uh, it's so good. It was so good. I saw this movie. Nice, action nice. movies in English is uh, very famous for their um, action uh, movies and superhero movies also um, most popular for uh, in English. But I don't like uh, I don't like uh, those uh, superhero movies. Um, like it's uh, so childish movies for me. So um, I like other things. And oh, one of the I don't believe it. I, I don't believe you, that. That. <laughs> I don't believe you just said that. I don't believe you just said that. I like, I really love the movies like that, uh, superhero. Oh, man. That is very now, sad one, to hear. One thing is like, uh, you see the um, cartoon and uh, animation movie, I love this. But uh, superhero movies, I don't like. I don't know why. But uh, and I also like uh, uh, magical movies, uh, which is uh, in Disney movies. I love them, but I didn't like uh, superhero movies. Okay, okay, it's your right. Okay, uh, but uh, let me let me say, uh, to be to be honest with ourselves, we never grow up. You know, have you ever heard the Avery Lavigne song? Yeah. Have you ever heard Avery Lavigne song when she said, we never grow up. So uh, it's very, uh, I like it so much to watch uh, uh, this type of movies. Like you said, it's just more, it's more to kids, but um, I like it to watch this movie. I'm so sorry. I'm a, I, I'm a, how can I say, 
Eternet uh, Child. So I, I like these movies. Uh, Alice, and how about you, Alice? What do you think about that? What is your favorite movie genre? And you cannot say comedy movie because Jack Chan is Chinese. You cannot say that. I love Jack Chan, but you cannot say comedy movies. Okay, let's see. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. You can say Jack Chan. Sorry, I'm just kidding. Oh uh, no, no problem. Mm, I I don't really like Jackie Chan's movies. No, um, because no, no, uh, no, no. stop, you... stop. You cannot say that. You are Chinese and you don't like movies uh, from Jack Chan. Um, actually not because uh, I I think maybe the old generation likes his movie. Uh, and actually, he he is uh, in Hong Kong, and uh, we are in the mainland China. So <laughs> we are actually we are different place. Um, and the fashion, uh, of Hong Kong people and uh, the Chinese people living in the mainland is a little different. Uh, so I actually uh I I I like a, a lot of kinds of movie. Um, such as a uh, love story. When I when I was in high school and in college, uh, I loved uh, a love story very much. Uh, I especially um, love story um, from Korea. I I like Korean uh, Korean TV series, um, and uh, I think all of those TV series are about love story. Uh, and uh, and the uh, the people in uh, in Korean TV series uh, were very beautiful. So at that time, I admired it very much. Um, besides, uh, when I was in uh, college, uh, I uh, I also liked the Japanese love story, uh, but I only liked it for a very short time. Because sometimes I I didn't like the Japanese culture, because in Japanese culture, uh, women uh, are uh, women are supposed to stay at home uh, after married uh, after getting married, and uh, they will uh, look after the child. Uh, they don't need to uh, go to work, and the men. Uh, will will go to work and uh, earn the money and support the whole family. And sometimes I don't like this kind of culture. And I think uh, all the Japanese uh, TV series um, have uh, have this culture. So um, uh, finally, I um, I give up Japanese uh, TV series. Uh, and now I I like American TV series very much, uh, such as uh, such as uh, Emily in Paris. Uh, I like this kind of TV series very much. Uh, it is uh, it is very relaxing, and um, and it is very uh, close to our daily life. Uh, we can learn something from uh, from Emily. Uh, we should, um, such as we should uh, experience more, uh, we should be brave and uh, something else. And uh, besides, I think Emily is very beautiful. Uh, she has good sense of fashion. Mm, so uh, I think I like this kind of TV series very much. But I don't know um, what kind of TV series it is belong to. Maybe it is a comedy, or maybe uh, maybe it is love story. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's all. Nice, nice. Uh, very interesting to know that. Uh, but uh, I don't know if you're right, but I love Jack Chan movies. This guy is very, very funny. I like it a lot. And uh, of course, uh, I like the, uh, your answers. I like so many TV, uh, American TV series too. Uh, let me ask a quick question here, guys, and I, I'd like to know a little bit about uh, each of you. Uh, Magdalena, when you are watching movies or series, even American or at your own native language, um, do you watch it, guys, uh, in English or with subtitles? Have you ever tried to do that? How is your listening skills? Uh, so, um, I actually, I watch it uh, in English. Uh, but I search special 
application and when I downloaded this, I can see English and Polish subtitles in the same time on YouTube and on Netflix, or I have another option to only see English subtitles. And when I don't understand something words, I can pick on this and I see uh, translate to these words. So it is, I think it is very good application. Uh, so I recommend this. And yes, I definitely try to only watching uh, English and America series and movies. <laughs> it is hard, but I think that it's worried. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. That's that the the way we must think it. And you, Charmy, you usually watch it, things in English or you use the subtitles. How is our listening skills? Actually, I watch uh, all of uh, series and uh, movies, like which is uh, most uh, interesting for me and the most thrilling type. Uh, whatever it is in English or other language. But yeah, most of the time when I have uh, got time and I want to improve my English, then I watch uh, English movies. And uh, yeah, I also get uh, the subtitle uh, um, with uh, subtitle movies because uh, when I don't understand uh, English uh, um, words, uh, what they are saying, then I saw the uh, subtitles because it helps your um, listening and uh, speaking skills also because uh, what they are pronoun uh, how they are pronouncing uh, it's also difficult uh, if uh, you do not know their native uh, English. So subtitle is helping a lot for this uh, pronunciation. Nice. And you, Alice, how did you watch this movie or series? You'd like to watch in English or you are you watching in Chinese? Uh, it depends. Uh, now I uh, I watch uh, English uh, TV series with uh, without any Chinese subtitles. I, I think I don't need Chinese subtitles, but sometimes I need English subtitles. Uh, and uh, these days I find that uh, when I am watching Friends, I I don't need any subtitles. Uh, I can just listen with without English subtitle and without Chinese subtitle. Uh, I can understand them, uh, but for some plots, I uh, because I I did I don't watch the whole TV series. Uh, for for the plots I watch, I think I can understand them. Uh, over six uh, over sixty percent, uh, of the of the sentence without any subtitle. But for other movies, uh, I watch the uh, a, a movie called Twilight. Uh, several days ago, and I found that if I didn't use the English subtitle, I couldn't understand the meaning because of their accent, um, all because of something else. Uh, they um, they sp spoke in a very low voice, and uh, I, I couldn't hear them clearly, and they spoke very fast. So I need, uh, I needed the English subtitle. And uh, I could understand uh, uh, the whole plot with the English subtitle. Nice, nice. It's nice to see, it's nice to hear this thing, this experience that you had, guys, because uh, we must do English be part of our life. And if we, we just studied here at our English speaking session or just to try to sometimes watch some one or two English YouTube videos, that is not enough. That is going to sometimes we're gonna freak out we're gonna uh start to to feel angry with our progress uh, maybe it will be sometimes we we're gonna give up about our, our english dreams so it's very important to study as much as you can guys uh so trying to reading out loud i have been practicing by reading out loud uh when i'm not here with you practicing my speaking skills i'm trying to read some articles i have some books which i'm gonna send to you guys at our english group this book, like I told before, this book, which I'm going to send you, was sent me by my previous teacher, English teacher, which is an American. So I uh, use it a lot. I started reading this book. So right now I'm feeling more confident than ever when I'm reading. 
And this book helped me so much. So I'm going to send this at our English WhatsApp group. It would be awesome for everyone who would like to just try and reading and answer some questions because there's a lot of questions related to these stories. And uh, we did, uh, we did, guys. Today we practiced. We talked about some, at least three topics here: hotels, movies, and uh, another uh, uh, things about. Uh, sorry, what did you say? Okay, so we practice a lot of uh, topics here today, and that's the key. We tomorrow, let me see. Sorry, the next weekend. We're going to practice again and maybe we bring uh, some new topics, but I would like to advise, I'd like to uh, warn you guys that sometimes I'm going to repeat the same topics because that's the key to remember, that's the key to use. Because if you just use once time uh, the same topic, maybe when you need it, you're going to not remember, you do not uh, recover these words at your mind. So you should practice it by repetition. That's the key, another key to help your english learning process so i have been using repetition a lot i have been uh, so as i told this book which i'm gonna send you i read it at least uh, 20 times i read a lot i read this book uh, 20 times and i had uh, all this right here at my my laptop so i have been watching it and listening to so thank you guys to be here with me. That's I'd like just to finish. I'd like just to to ask a, a quick time here just to finish this meeting recording. So for all of you who maybe are watching us here by the YouTube channel, thank you so much to be here with us. I hope you can uh, could learn anything new. I hope you could understand everything that we said here. And if you are not subscribed, of course, would like to subscribe at this YouTube channel. Give the like button, and I know you're gonna be uh very very improve it if you subscribe with us here maybe you can join us at our next english meeting here and just make a contact with me by the english uh, facebook page or by the comments below okay so thank you for all of you the youtube channel and i'd like to finish this recording now